hey thank y'all so much for dropping by um i'm just about to dive right in because this right here is a serious time that we are living in those last days because the things that i am seeing in real time right now <laughs> and 4k is crazy like i never seen this happen before and this ain't no fear mongering this ain't no you know over exaggerating stuff but you really can see that we are really in those last days I mean, the times are crazy, people are crazy, hurricanes, you know what I'm saying? These, these crazy category fives hitting Florida, my hometown, and I'm here now. Now, the good part is I did survive the hurricane. Thank God, God blessed me to survive the hurricane. And um, we, were, we were not in a flood zone. Flood, flood zones would have been like zone A and B. If you were caught in a flood zone, the, the waters could have risen up to 15 feet. There's no way you was gonna survive that. So, you if you know the town, you know the city, you know the flood zones. So you stay away from those. Because once those waves start crashing in, once that hurricane hit at a category five, the waves and the wind are gonna be too powerful for you to even you know go through it. And to, to even bear it. Because I had a glimpse, I, we, we, we stayed home, but we weren't in, we were not in like a flood zone. We were just gonna get the rains and the winds. But the whole entire city is like destroyed with broken trees, um, ripped off roofs and houses, tornadoes. This is the most craziest thing I have ever witnessed. Like with my own two eyes in this generation. I I, I mean this is this can this is definitely one of the most powerful, most dangerous hurricanes I have ever seen. And I'm just looking around the park right now and just walking in it's just crazy to see that the pine trees are snapped in two falling over the big oak trees that's been here for hundreds of years just just knocked over just like just like if it was a giant just knocked them over it is crazy to to actually see this and witness this like this is unbelievable to actually see a park that i always come to and it's just like destroyed like trees are knocked over like like tornadoes or something touched down now i'm not i can't really identify uh, exactly where all the tornadoes hit it was like 19 to like 30 that touched down some people even say more but from the ones that i seen could have been very dangerous and deadly and for what i'm witnessing the winds were so powerful i had the chance i even opened my door i just had to see it i said i wonder what hurricane winds look like I want to know what it feel like and just to be curious but i was in the house you know i wasn't about to go outside and run around like i'm crazy like a chicken head cut off but i just glimpsed at it a few times just to say wow we we are really in the eye of the hurricane this is like unbelievable like to actually be in dead smack you know a hit marker where the hurricane hit directly hit your city that's like most people will probably would never experience a hurricane you know hitting hitting their city directly like unless you're on the outskirts of you know america or something like that or like i think um in asia where they have ty typhoons or tycoons or something like that but this is definitely definitely on another level like it's mind-blowing because it's so hard to 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 explain but you do still have to stay in faith and I know I just had to trust in God to keep me, my family, the, the, the chosen ones, the Christians of the world, the good people, kind hearted people, the man, women and children, the good people of the world. I pray for everybody that everybody stay safe, you know, that nothing happened to them, their families, you know, the people that was that that make it out, you know, and, and it seems like our prayers are answered because from what I hear, a lot of people didn't really get hurt as much as I thought well, what was going to happen but we took this one a lot more serious i will say our governor he made all these zones if there were flood zones or there was in danger you had to go there was like a, a mandatory evacuation especially uh zone a's and zone b there's no way you could have survived that it was just too deadly too dangerous the winds were just way too high and um and i'm i'm in a different zone so i'm in a different zone in florida so i i had nothing to worry about when it comes to flooding like 15 like six nine to 15 feet of waves crashing in up against your house like I, and, and just flooding your house and carrying your house down the road 
because of all the impact from the waves. So I didn't have that issue. But we do have a lot of people that stubborn, like the older generation. Oh, I've been here for 50 years. I've been here for 40 years, 30 years. I don't gotta go nowhere. You know, they're stuck in their ways. They don't understand. This is like a once in a lifetime, a once in a generation, you know, in a century that you will see something like this. And they didn't re realize how dangerous this really was. You know, until we seen what happened to um, the last hurricane that just passed. I think it was uh, Helen. Um, and, and uh, you know, basically Carolina is still experiencing that aftermath after their flash floods. Now, we did have a lot of flash, uh, flash flood warnings, um, flooding warnings. Uh, half of the city is still flooded. Half of the, the trees are still tore down, no power. Um, I like, I think over like 3 million people power is still out. And this is just crazy to just witness this, like in person to see something like this. It's mind blowing because most people will never see something like this. And just to make it through it, yeah, I mean, you really know that you are truly blessed to be dead and smack in the hurricane and you come out untouched. Now we, we did have a tree fall on the house. Now that's that's what did happen. We did have a tree fell on the house, but me and my uncle, we're gonna handle that. You know, thank goodness it didn't do no severe damages. It's just kind of like leaning up against the house and it didn't it didn't like punch a hole in the roof or anything. So thank God, we thank God that it could have been way worse. And the tree could have actually landed on one of our cars. So that did not happen and I'm thankful for that as well because that could have been a lot of damage there. And this is a very big tree. So I'm thankful for that. Um, we do have to get the power back on through, throughout the city. Um, I did a, I actually, I did a ride around throughout the city. Couldn't really find any stores open. Crazy. How, there's hardly anybody here. It's like a ghost town right now. Um, mostly everybody's probably making their way back to Florida, which is going to take them probably all night and getting flu. They're getting flu back in from different states and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people probably families are worried about them and it, it's just a lot. I mean, it's just so much debris just walking this park track that I'm looking at and it's just mind blowing and it's hard to even focus and concentrate. That's why I feel like I was like, you know what? I, I, I might as well just shoot a video. I was my, just, just, I have to tell somebody about it because y'all are the only ones that understand. Only real Christians, chosen ones, you know, kings like it take a real, like I said before, it takes a real king like me to lead the people and to still stay in faith even in a hard time like this in the midst of everything, knowing that we are in the last days and, and a lot of people can see it. If you're spiritual, if you're a Christian and you believe in the Holy Gospel, Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and you repented for all of your sins and you be, and you've been baptized in the name of jesus christ you know born again because remember that's the only way we're going to make it to the kingdom of heaven is through jesus christ and being born again baptized like i know a lot of people probably don't know or they probably ain't, they're not really spiritual and they're not in church but if you don't do these steps you cannot make it to heaven you have to get baptized first and just to be spiritual and to know what we're facing like you know that's why i say we're not battling in the flesh this is a spiritual war so you have to stay strong we have to stay together at a time like this and so many people pray for florida and thanks to everybody out there if you knew this happened to to our state to the sunshine state the great state of florida we have many good people here good christians here um thank you thank you to everybody for all the prayers and all the love because Man, this thing was coming at us like a category five. I think when it made landfall, it started to drop down to like a category three. You know, once it hit that first impact on the outskirt of Florida, the west coast of Florida, like from the Gulf, it's, it's, it's gonna destroy almost anything in this path. You know, the, the, the winds, oh man. I, I haven't even had time to go through all of the content creator videos, all of the news casters and everybody that's covering this story. I just had to get out and get some fresh air because first of all, didn't get much rest. We already know you're gonna be restless on and off. Um, everybody's panicking in panic mode, like my family calling in back to back, friends calling in back to back, texting and just didn't get much rest. Everybody's restless and they really wanna know what's going down. And I just had to let them know, hey, you know, we good. But yeah, a tree hit the house. 
we're fine thank god everybody's good um the neighbors they're good everybody uh just pretty much debris and trees fell over a lot of um branches and limbs and stuff like that um but far as i can see if you stay in faith everything will work out and you really and we really have to give all the glory to god because without lord jesus christ our lord and savior we can't do it by ourselves this is a fight that we can't do you know this is just something that we just can't do and it takes kings and queens to lead people in the right path you know to jesus christ to save them because we're in a time now and i'm starting to see it's harder to talk to people it's harder to to try to you know spread the gospel because the enemy is trying to stop you in every way shape or form you know whether it's politicians and lawmakers whether it's just toxic evil demonic people that believe in all this other you know dark religion that they believe in like islam or you know you know jehovah witness catholics or you know hindu buddha if it ain't the holy gospel these people will take take everything from gospel from from the holy bible and, and go just turn it into something else and it's just like how are you gonna steal what's already been written in stone by god by god's people his disciples his chosen ones jesus and his disciples you know <clears throat> and it's crazy because sometimes i do feel like noah you know in the ark i do feel like the storm was coming i do feel like a lot of people i touched them now that i never seen them really touch before because they didn't know that the chosen ones was right here with them the whole time as i was learning you know like i was learning the truth a very long time like i didn't just come out you know and pretending like i know the truth you know like i know jesus i learned i took my time and i sat down i, I learned from the best the best pastors and bishops and that's how i learned so i could spread the gospel the right way i wanted to do it the right way i didn't want nobody being confused i want it to be abc so you can understand it i don't want nobody lost like wait what do you mean what do you mean i gotta do this what do you mean i gotta do that you know start with the ten commandments follow the holy bible to help you guide you through life and then you have to get baptized you know start with that abc don't overthink nothing just try to give up all your sinful ways you know god said come out from amongst them and be ye separate you have to because it's the only way you can see the truth it's the only way it's gonna you're gonna have faith to be able to see something like this and still be a strong person inside and not let it affect you but you understand why it's happening in so many words you understand that this walk with jesus is going to be hard we understand that we're going to have storms and rumors of war even the words say it, it will be rumors of war but don't worry because the end is not here yet so you don't have to worry about the world coming to an end just yet you know but y'all do have time to still give your life over to jesus christ and be become born again baptized and follow the word of god so that you won't be out here lost so when things like this happen and a disaster happen and something catastrophic happen like somebody pass away somebody get hurt they know they're going to heaven regardless you know you don't want something like this to hit your hometown and something happen to a best friend or a family member and you don't know what happened to them that's the scariest thing in the world because you're like wait i know they they weren't really living save a saved life they weren't really living you know a good life they're out smoking drinking partying fornicating committing adultery fighting hating on people talking you know gossiping like just really i'm not saying everybody's a bad person but you can pick up on these things and you want to get yourself right because this right here if you really think about it this could this right here could have hit anybody's city and it could have been very deadly and people could have lost friends and family and they weren't right with god because of this you know because it's going to be a lot of disasters happen mother nature happen all the time we see it all the time and then we have a lot of stubborn people in our family because they're the part of the older generation they're stuck in their ways they don't like to listen you know because you know a lot of pe older generation they think they know more than the young generation sometimes that's not always the case <laughs> it's just not that's not always the case just because you're older doesn't always mean you're way more wiser because i could have learned some things that you don't know and you could learn some things that i don't know you know so that's why i don't judge that's why i don't condemn 
Um, I always try to tell everybody just get right with Jesus because ain't no better feeling than that. Ain't no more freedom than that. Like we already know everybody is brainwashed to society and the system. Um, go to school, get out, get a job, get a career, work for the system for the rest of your life, get old and retire. Does that sound like, <laughs> where is God at in there? Where's the faith that to build your own business, you know, build your own career, you know? So I just like to, you know, motivate everybody and to do the right thing and speak positivity into everybody's life that comes across these videos and this message because it is very powerful because I am a very spiritual person and I have faith and I truly believe in each and every one of you that you can make a difference in this world.